Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. I'm not going to do an informative video today because all of my new training equipment came in yesterday afternoon, so I'm going to show some of it off to you guys in a video. And then you guys can talk about how fat I'm getting on my bulk when you see kind of my love handles and stuff through my Under Armour shirt. But uh, honestly, I don't really give a fuck because I'm a power lifter and I don't care if I never have deep abs again. I honestly do not care. I care about hitting my totals. And if I need to cut to make weight for a meet and I end up with nice abs, then so be it. But honestly, I could give a fuck less. I will leave that to you guys who compete in bodybuilding and for you 22-year-old single guys. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Alright, first of all, I've got my new lever belt. This is a 13 millimeter lever belt. And you guys want to step up to, if you're planning on deadlifting anything over about 600 pounds or squatting anything over about 500 regularly, you might want to consider upgrading to a 13 millimeter. But for most people, a 10 millimeter should be just fine. And for guys who compete in powerlifting, you need to find out what your federations allow. Some federations allow 10 millimeters, some allow for 13. Because again, the stiffer it is, the more support it gives you, it can give you a few more pounds on your lift. But uh, let me stand up and try this thing on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. All right, and as you guys can see, I have gained a little fat on my book. I'm getting some extra love handles and things. Oh, and also, this is from the strength shop here in the UK. All of the stuff that I ordered is from the strength shop. A lot of it is their home brand, and they are very highly recommended. I know a lot of serious athletes who use this stuff. And the nice thing with the lever is because you have the lever undone, it's not so tight. You don't have to take the belt off. You can leave the belt off. And then when you're ready to do your lift, you tighten the lever. And then you're ready to go. All right, but there it is. I'll give you guys a tricep shot. And I went ahead and bought a slightly bigger size than I need to give myself a little wiggle room on my bulk. And I'm actually on the tightest setting on this. And so I can afford to gain another 10 pounds if I need to with no problems. And I can always, if I go on a cut, I can always purchase a, another smaller belt or I can get holes punched in this one. Alright, also I got bands. Tons and tons of bands. I got a full set of bands here, and these are useful for everything. Everything from speed work to reverse band work to whatever you're doing with your actual weights. These things are great for rotator cuff work, even training your rear delts. I would say I do all of my rear delt work with bands in general, and all of my rotator cuff work. And later on, I'll do videos demonstrating different things you can do for your rotators and rear delts using bands. But for powerlifting purposes, these things are just insanely useful. They're probably one of the most effective tools for improving your squat bench and deadlift. All right. I also got some neoprene elbow sleeves. These are not multiply or anything, so you can get away with these in a lot of federations for powerlifting and strongman. But again, you have to look at what your, your federation allows for. And because I'm doing so much heavy pressing and so much lockout work, I got these to just to give me some extra elbow support. And again, I got a size. These are only slightly snug, but it gives me room to grow because my arms are at 18 right now. But they're going to get back up to 20. And so I'm going to need the extra support. So these are a little loose. They're not super tight, but I will grow in, but I'll grow into them quickly enough. And the, these are what these look like. Also, I got knee wraps, and these are just a standard Titan knee wrap. These are two millimeters long, which is good because uh, some powerlifting federations, because I'm going to compete in a couple different federations, I'm not going to stick to just one. Some federations for raw lifts don't allow wraps, some allow knee wraps up to two and a half millimeters, and so it just really depends on what your federation allows, but they're overall a good training tool. 
particularly when you start doing a lot of heavy lockout work, it's really nice just to raise that hydrostatic pressure in your knee. But yeah, they can help you cheat a little bit out of the bottle, which is why a lot of federations limit the length of the band. Because the longer the wrap is, obviously the more bounce you can create out of the bottom with it because it bundles up and you have elasticity at the bottom that you can literally bounce off the band. All right, and last up, I got deadlift socks. And these are also strength shot. You can see their logo on it. And these are awesome for if you don't want to wear long sweatpants when you're deadlifting and you don't want to have to chalk your legs up, you want to actually deadlift in shorts. Socks like this are great because it will keep you from ripping your shins up if you have a really good bar because most good deadlift bars are extremely coarse. They will rip skin off. And because a proper deadlift, you pull hard against your shins and you drag it up your shins all the way up. And if you're not, then you're not doing a deadlift correctly. So again, these help protect this. And that's everything that I got in yesterday. Hopefully I will have, I'm hoping for a new camera within the next two weeks. Again, I'm just waiting on other money to clear and some of it could clear within the next three to four days. I don't know. And once I get that new camera, I'm going to do a lot more gym footage for you guys. I'm going to try to film a workout every week and I'm going to try to do more demonstration videos for you guys. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I will talk to you next time.